keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a point power forward build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like of the video, puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. So first and foremost, left or right hand, it doesn't really matter. I just like going left hand because I'm left hand IRL. Um, power forward, obviously, because you're a point power forward. We're gonna go 6 6 with this. Again, this will be like your primary dribbling build. This is your primary guard build here, okay? So, even though it's a power forward, it's gonna be the primary ball handler. Why would you be a point power forward? Um, you could theoretically make it more. No, you really couldn't because you gotta have a high ball handle and that eats up so much of your attributes. The build is not meant to be like playing down in the trenches like a power forward, right? We're gonna go 210 with this with a 7 foot 3 wingspan, okay? Um, then, what we're gonna do here is this we're gonna go down to the physicals. First and foremost, we're going to go 86 on the speed because we want to get speed booster on gold. We're gonna get, these are going to be gold badges. This build is actually going to be pretty shifty, okay? Then we're going to go 84 on the acceleration. As you see, 84 gives you the slippery off ball, but it also will give you blow buys on gold, okay? So that's going to be pretty strong. Then we're going to go 60 on the strength, and that's just to be able to get our fearless finisher on silver, okay? Then we're going to go 75 on the vert. And then what we're going to do is go 96 on the stamina, and that's giving us our handles for days on gold, right? So this build right here has all the comp physicals that you would want for a primary ball handler build, okay? Um, then again, you already know the vibes, man. We're going 80 on the driving layup. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory now, like we're deep into the game. 80 driving layup will give you Pro Touch Hall of Fame. Layup timing on is a must. Having the meter off is also really good to have if you do not want to have the meter on. Um, I mean off you can put it on that's also good but at the end of the day layup timing is just a plus and pro touch really helps out a lot okay then what we want to do is go 75 on the driving dunk 75 driving dunk that's very important because again we want to be able to get that Giannis dunk packages the Ben Simmons dunk packages a lot of dunk packages from 65 to 75 are really good um, especially if you're not trying to get contact dunks that is going to be the avenue you want to go okay now in order to get the Giannis dunk packages you do need to have a 75 vert but again you're also going to be able to get precision dunker fast switch and rise up all on silver along with aerial wizard so this build is going to be able to finish at the basket with ease with not a lot of issues with that so that's always going to be a plus to be able to finish at the basket now when it comes to shooting this is where things get tricky because you can only go but so high you can only go 77 with this okay so but the good thing is you see by going 76 you get green machine and you get space creator okay going 77 doesn't help you but i still went 77 same thing here right going 77 doesn't help you but from 75 to 76 you see you get corner special silver and you get agent threes and then we're still gonna go up to 77 just to do it okay now if you are a rec player again this is gonna be really solid go 90 to get your free points so you really have free points on gold you're gonna be a good free throw shooting type build you're obviously gonna be able to get to the basket um a lot with this build um theoretically since you are playing power forward um and you are like this though it it could push it might most likely you will be pushed to small forward spot okay so you'll be a small forward most likely in random rec um obviously if you're playing with a squad like i would then obviously i'll be playing point guard with, with the build because i make sure my lineup is the way it is but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter you know like the build is going to be able to have some fun with this because of what it can do and because of the name okay um 89 pass accuracy you already know man we're trying to get that we're trying to get the hillaburton um passing style um you could go 91 pass accuracy but that's gonna require you to drop your shooting um again it's really up to you drop your mid-range and three-point shot to 76 drop your free throw to a 71 and then you'll be able to get pass accuracy to 91 okay and as you see 91 will give you a big jump right a lot on silver which is eh but the big one here really will be the gold needle threader in the hall of fame special delivery all right but that's really your preference there there's no right or wrong answer okay then we're going all the way up to 92 the reason why we're going 92 on this is just to get the unpluckable on gold that's important um and also like i said at the end of the day since you're all 6'6 
you're not going to be able to get all those really good dribble styles for 6-5 and under. So at the end of the day, you're really just doing this for the 92 just to be able to get your unpluckable, okay? Then we're going to go 83. Obviously, that 83 will give you the blow bias, speed booster, and hyperdrive all on gold. Very, very important here because at the end of the day, right, in the beginning of the day, right, if you're going to be dribbling, it's good to have these gold badges and be able to shift, okay? Now, I know a lot of people were always talking about acceleration don't mean this, acceleration don't mean that. Me, personally, I believe the acceleration actually works. But there's no right or wrong answers here. It's all about what you prefer and what your preferences are. But for me, personally, I feel like speed with ball, acceleration and speed, all that is really important for a primary ball handler build, okay? Then we're going to go up to 76 on our perimeter defense. Now, we want to be able to stay in front of whoever we're guarding. So, bronze clamps, 94 feet, ankle braces, challenger, fast feet, pick dodge, and workhorse. All those are very important badges that you want to be able to have. And at the end of the day, me personally, I feel like this is going to be the best setup for any type of build like this because from you're basically guarding the one to the three. It, it depends. But you're, you're not going to be a lockdown. Your, your objective is to facilitate. But at the, still, you want to make sure that you can at least stay in front of the offensive player that you're guarding and then of course we're going 60 still and really this is just to get that bronze interceptor and i've been saying this every single video a lot of these things are animation based so if you want to be able to get the animation with putting your hands up trying to intercept the ball you got to at least get interceptor on bronze if you do not get interceptor on bronze guess what you're not going to be able to get in any passing lane steals other than like your hands up defense or the ball bouncing off your head you hit square but the ball would just bounce off your hands there in order to really catch it solidly you need at least bronze ink on um, bronze interceptor and even then you're not going to catch them all because you only have it on bronze but it's still good to have the animation to play the passing lanes, especially if you're playing the zone with the actual team and, you know, like you want to prevent those back doors. That's why off-ball pass on silver is also really important to prevent those back doors of people trying to sneak behind you. You got that ability to stop them and intercept the pass. That's why these two are always important, especially for a wreck. And then we put that last little bit right here on 26. But as you can see, this is a very unique build. I mean, like, you know, the shooting's not lights out, but if you're playing with a team of shooters, right, and you know, like, hey, I just want to pass the ball, run and facilitate. Now, don't get it wrong. 7-7 is really good. I got to, like, my, my high flyer build, my Zion build is a 78. All you got to do is just throw JT Do Thor on this thing on build, and you're going to be able to shoot lights out. Get your high spots, get your lethal zones at the top of the key, and you're going to be shooting with no problem. So, like, it doesn't really matter. Again, shooting is so much easier now since the, you know, the past couple nerfs. So, it's not really much of an issue. And then, of course, here you have it, my nephews and nieces. What else can you ask for? Um, a pretty unique build. Really, really solid build, in my opinion. You have the point power forward build. All right. So, anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. What would you change differently? Of course, keep in mind, changing stuff will change the name. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Thank you.